Diplo, unfortunately, is did a big oopsie doopsie. But I'm not too sure if this actually matters because I feel like every other day, every other week, every other month, every other year, there's a story about Diplo being a creep and nothing really happens, to be honest. He seems to be impervious. He seems to be impenetrable. He seems to be the actual Teflon Don when it comes to accusations of being, you know, a little bit of a creepo, a little bit of a diddler, allegedly. There was actually a story, or I did see pictures of him actually in Jamaica. That's actually funny. So allegedly he got, you know, he was accused of some other shit. Maybe a black girl, I think, accused him of rape or something. And he moved to Jamaica, right? Natural territory. Whenever you get accused of something, move to the Caribbean um, and then have access to more black women, which is fucking wild. But regardless, um, this is a new article and a new allegations here, courtesy of the New York Times. It says Diplo, DJ, music producer, is being accused in a lawsuit of revenge porn. So let's read what it says here. Diplo, the Grammy-winning electronic dance music DJ and producer, was accused in a new lawsuit filed on Thursday of sharing explicit sexual images and videos of a woman without her consent. I guess that counts as revenge porn, right? That's what revenge porn is, is basically. The woman who filed the lawsuit anonymously said in a court filing that she had a seven-year intimate relationship with Diplo, whose real name is Thomas Wesley Pence. His name is Thomas Wesley Pence. Is that his name? Right, well, no wonder he called himself Diplo. He's got the most, no one say normie, but that's not the, it's not the most, uh, that's not a blockbuster name, is it? No wonder he called himself Diplo. Thomas Wesley Pence. I never knew that. During which he recorded them having sex and later distributed those images against her wishes. So this is his ex-girlfriend. He's out here sharing, it's, <laughs> It's one thing sharing images and videos of yourself fucking randoms, which is also bad because it's not, if you don't have their permission, don't share anything of somebody without their permission, full stop. But surely sharing videos and clips of yourself fucking your actual missus is wild, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of that, of that person that we all know. There's always that person in your friendship group who like will talk very graphically and in detail about what they get up to with their wife to you and try and like brag about it. Oh yeah, she was like sucking me up to it's like bro, isn't that your like wife? Why are you telling us for? Like, I know this woman. She's kinda like my friend also. Like why are you telling me you know I mean? So he's probably one of those type of weirdos that will try and, you know, like give you extra details of what like shut up man that's your that's, that's your mother of your children like relax man i don't want to hear this maybe it's fun if i hear it about you with some prosy or something but not somebody that you count as a girlfriend as a fiance and she has a wife like god damn it have you know have some level of privacy and um, decency something throughout their relationship which started in 2016 the woman sometimes gave him permission to record them having sex which is normal in a relationship fair enough but he told but told him that she did not want him to share the videos with others but he did last november the lawsuit said the woman was contacted by someone who said that she was in possession of images and videos of women having sex with diplo and that diplo had sent her sex she's pissed materials on a social diplo is sending videos of himself fucking his ex-girlfriend to randoms on snapchat the lawsuit said the woman reported the disruption, the distribution of the materials to the police in Brooklyn, where she lives. Okay, credit to this woman, though. Credit to this lady who was basically talking to Diplo. Diplo was probably trying to raise her up. And as men do sometimes, she thought it would be like a good option to send her videos of himself fucking strangers that she'd get excited, which they don't usually do, to be fair. That's one of the things that I think guys always miscalculate. It's almost like dick, dick pics. Guys always think like women want to see dick pics, but actually, dick pics aren't really... They don't seem to do anything for women the same way maybe boobs do something really incredible for guys' imaginations and shit. But I think the same thing with random videos of you fucking around. It's like, why, why would you send me this? I think most sensible girls, if you sent them a video of yourself fucking one of your ex-girlfriends, they're going to be concerned that you might do the same thing to them. That might be an instant red flag. They might just run away completely off the strength of just that. Like, what? You're sending me a video of you doing what? With who? This is your ex. Okay, bye. You know, like, so <laughs> it, it's not going to work how you think it's going to work. It's not going to, this isn't porn. <laughs> it's not going to turn them on at all. They're going to run a mile, rightfully so. The New York Police Department said in a statement that detectives were investigating a complaint for unlawful dissemination against a man named Thomas Pence. A lawyer for Diplo, Brian Friedman, said in a statement that his client had been subjected to the past lawsuit and he described as bogus. So he's, so he's saying it's not a thing. What's his defense then? That she's making it up. She's trying to get some money from him. I'd like to hear the defense about this because this seems kind of black and white, isn't it? 
I'm your girlfriend. We used to have a relationship. We're now not dating anymore. But I'm finding out through other women that you're sending videos and pictures of me fucking you to them. That's pretty black and white case. I wonder what his defense is. It continues. Time and time again, Wes has been targeted by a group of untrustworthy individuals and their unscrupulous lawyers cobbing together falsehoods in search of meritless payday. The suit seems to just be more of the same, which is why we have no reason to believe that this will end in any differently than the others. Okay, so there's been other lawsuits that he's allegedly won. So he's confident that this is not anything. Hmm. I'll be in interested to see what the... I guess you're innocent until proven guilty, but I'll be, in, I'll be interested to see what their evidence is to say that this is all bogus. The lawsuit filed in federal court in California cites a federal law that prohibits the disclosure of intimate images of a person without an individual's consent and a state revenge pornography law. Um, Diplo was locked into a complex year-long legal dispute with another woman, um, Shelley August. Um, oh, bloody hell, Shelley August. Well, hello. Um, who accused him in a lawsuit of sexually assaulting her and posting a sexually explicit image of her on social media for an anonymous Twitter account. In court documents, Diplo vehemently denied the accusations and called the Miss August a scammer who entered into his life to try and get money from him. He filed a lawsuit accusing her of stalking him and distributing sexually explicit photos and videos of him, which she denied in court papers. Why does Diplo always seem to be in a position where people are trying to scam him for these type of things? Is he actually guilty? Is he just um, just a good guy that's meeting evil women? Or is he actually Harvey Weinstein in disguise? Because I don't know, man. This is sounding like the guy might be a bit of a piece of shit. Maybe. You know, maybe this guy might be a piece of shit if he continually finds off situations where he's disseminating images of people that he was once involved with against their wishes and he's locked in legal disputes with these people i don't know this seems like somebody that might not be the bestest of guys just throwing it out there i've been forced to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars against her bogus accusations allegations sorry he said in the court filing noting that the arbitrator had heard their claims and issued a monetary award in diplo's favor really that's an interesting thing so diplo got rewarded damages of some extent payment for this law for this lawsuit against this Shelley August person. Diplo, a prolific producer, has collaborated with major pop stars such as Madonna, Beyonce, and Justin Bieber. What does this Shelley Augusty woman look like actually? Is this a black lady? Because he seems to have sometimes some things for black women. Is he is he sullying the reputation of black ladies? Yeah, there is a black that that's her, right? I'm assuming. Maybe. It might be her. I'm not too sure. I just typed, yeah, that is her. Diplo's accuser. Bloody hell, mate. But he keeps getting away with it. So I don't know what's happening. Is he actually guilty? Is he not guilty? I don't know. I'm not really too sure, man. And I'm, I'm really not too sure. Yeah, exactly. Big up um, Don Dotter. Diplo's got too many girl fans that don't give a fuck. Yeah, for sure. And I'm assuming a lot of them will, will happily take being sexually assaulted by him. A lot of them probably might see it as a kink. Do you know what I mean? A lot of these guys and girls think he's very attractive. So I'm sure he's okay with that regard. But no one seems to care, really. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. I've honestly felt like I've seen an article or an accusation about Diplo forever. It's probably the same time as Tim Westwood. And nothing really seems to stick with him. So maybe he's not guilty. Maybe he's just Teflon. Maybe it's just dance music shit. I'm not really too sure. But it seems like an odd one. It seems like an odd one. I'm not too sure what to make of it. I'm really not sure what to make of it. But regardless, he's been accused of being a sharer of revenge porn and people are coming after him so i guess he's gonna have to handle that the way he's going to have to handle it let's see if he does handle it let's see if he does handle it 